<laughs> Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, How Joanna. are you? Stefani, you? Hello, Maria. Good evening, Joanna. Maritza. Hey. Hello. Hi, Jacqueline. Hello. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, Maritza. Catherine, good evening. Ligia. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hey, I, can, I can see Ileana also. Lilia, Ileana, Liliana. Good evening. Uh, okay, good evening. Well, I hope you're okay and I hope that you are willing to learn something new. Just give me one 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 minute, please. I need to connect the, the laptop. Okay, welcome to the people who have who have just gotten into the class. Good okay. evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Shona. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. Okay, John, I got your message. Well, we're gonna start. Uh, remember that it's a humble, a permanent humble, right? Tenemos una tarea permanente. ¿Cuál es? I learned in sentence of word today. <laughs> exactly, Jonathan. Let's start with you, please. Uh, well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, no. Eh, ¿le entendí que comenzamos con la tarea o no? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, good evening, everybody. Eh, I have eh, I have learned some sentences eh, sentences eh, comparative adjectives. Alright. We comparative adjectives eh, there, these these are these are also to comparative to pay, to people, uh, places, or things. For example, uh, she is tired. The him number example number two is I am bigger uh, than my brothers. Uh, number three, my cat. My my dog is more beautiful than my cat. In conclu in, in conclusion, the four, the four or the adjective, uh, we depends depend on on how many the syllab on, on how many syllab, uh, the syllab the, the adjective had to apply the rules rules. Thank you. Wow, awesome. Great information. And actually tonight, we're gonna talk about adjectives and Jonathan has already investigated about comparative adjectives. So that's a plus. Ya eso es un plus. Miren lo que hace Jonathan. Ir a investigar nuevas palabras e inclusive se aprendió las reglas, algunas reglas. Perfect. Okay, so thank you, Jonathan. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's listen to Liliana. Good evening. Good evening. I learned a word uh, I remember is a, a checkup. That's the meaning. Is chequeo. For example, when you need to go to the hospital for a checkup. Maybe you are sick or you feel bad. Fantastic, Liliana. I can see, let me see, there's a volunteer in the chat. 
And Catherine says, teacher, I'm a volunteer. I want to participate. So Catherine, you have the opportunity now. Hi, good evening. And today I learned a phrase from a song. The name song is Me, Myself and I by Beyonce. And the phrase is, I know that I will never disappoint myself. Uh, the meaning is like and I like this phrase because this show will never be disappointed and in the end we only have ourselves right fantastic That's it. fantastic you see <laughs> disappointing word I will never dis uh, disappoint myself okay and uh, you know Catherine disappointment is the same as um, let me let you down okay it's very similar. You should investigate that also. Jorge okay. says, okay, thank you, Catherine. Good. Jorge says, good evening. Ah, okay, Jorge. Jorge, welcome to the class. Now, let's see, Jonathan, Liliana, jo Joanna. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, the harder I work, and look here, I get. The harder I work, uh -huh. and look here, I get. Excellent. Pretty good. The harder I work, the, the what? The, the richer? The look here, the look here, I get. Okay. Pretty good. So now you, we have like motivational expressions over here. Okay. Like the one Catherine provided and now Shoana. Uh, let's listen to Roxana. Thank you, Joanna. Okay, teacher. Well, I I learned the sentence and um, were under a lucky star. What is the meaning? So, uh, uh, the meaning is uh, nacer bajo una una estrella de suerte. Fantastic. No sentences. No examples, Roxana. What? Uh, uh, do you have some sentences with that expression? Oraciones, uh, ejemplos. Would uh, you want another sentence? Yes, please. Oh, oh okay. Or uh, my my sister is is very tall and oh. also she is pretty excellent tall and pretty those are adjectives and now you will see that tonight we're going to talk about them okay Okay, Mindy, I got your message, okay? Okay. Uh, la actividad que siempre, con la que siempre iniciamos es con una pregunta. Hey, ¿Qué aprendiste ahora en inglés? Puede ser una, pre, una palabra, una frase, como lo han dicho algunos acá. Este, algunas oraciones como las, las, las que nos compartió Roxana, que de hecho esta noche vamos a hablar de adjetivos y eh, pues nos ayuda como a empezar a familiarizarnos con ciertas palabras. Let's listen to Chrissy. Chrissy. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, yo estuve repasando algunas preguntas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, for example, uh, what, are, what are you doing right now? que uh -huh. es como en mente ahora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y, um, for example, how do you say in English, um, for example, mundo? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés mundo? Porque son importantes. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Exactly. Hey, listen, now is the time where you need to get uh, to, to fall in love of the language. Están en la etapa donde se empiezan a enamorar del idioma. Y ustedes saben que cuando alguien se enamora, no me hará mentir Jonathan y los demás, cuando se han enamorado, ustedes están pensando solo en esa persona, ¿sí o no? 
<risa> Entonces, eh, vamos a empezar a enamorarnos del idioma, de inglés. ¿Qué les quiero decir con eso? Vamos a empezar a pensar en él todo el tiempo. ¿Ok? Una frase, una oración, o en la pronunciación, todo, todo importa de aquí en adelante. ¿Ok? Y vamos a iniciar con la clase. ¿Ok? Now, yes, we're going to start with the class. Uh, we're going to go over the platform. Yesterday, uh, we started talking about a syllable stress. And also have some review about numbers in ages. Is that right? Yeah, right. So now I hope that you have studied number up to 200, 300, 400. But um, yesterday we also included number, uh, numbers uh, up to 1,000, right? And tonight we're going to start talking about double H questions with the birth to be. And in order to start with the topic, let us have some review about what is what the word to be is all about. So when when you see these in present, what comes to your mind? Cuando miran este verbo y se les dice en presente, ¿qué se les viene a la mente? Ser o estar. Sí. There are three forms, right? Am. Am. Is. Are. Is. Is. Am. Is. And are. This is the verb to be impressed. Now, what's the way to be conjugated? We say, I. You. Yeah. You. I am. All right. We say, I am. Then we say, I, I am. She's. You are. You are. All right. She's. 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 It. It. She's. 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 We are, you are. They, they are. are. They are. Okay, so we studied about this. We created net statements. We also created questions. Just no questions, but tonight we're going to see a couple of uh, double H. Uh, question words um, in order to create uh, sentences in the interrogative form. <coughs> so we're going to see the following video. We're going to see in a, a couple of examples. What? Okay. And later, we're going to try to go over the topic like, the main, that I consider like the main topic for tonight, okay, which is um, the topic about adjectives. Pay attention to this part, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be. You're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be, 
plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, remember the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form W. How old is Now, yes, now he explained the information uh, in a video, but I need to provide further information. For example, when we have what's you perfectly know that we're talking. about the contractive form of what is, right? What, what is. But when you say what, are, okay, you are not going this this cannot be possible, cannot people. Be possible people. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Is what? Yeah, only when you have this. Okay, so what? You cannot say like we're no. <laughs> that's impossible, right? You say. Where are? How are? But you can say house. Now yes, right. So you can you can say perfectly this. How is right? Okay, who's that? Who's? Okay, etc. But when you have R, you cannot contract it. Now, the question words that we have here are. Who, can you repeat that, please? Who, 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 Questions with double H question words such as when, where, how, or who, what, etc. So we need to follow a pattern. We need to follow an order. 
And the order is the following. Double H question word. After that, we're going to encounter the verb to be. Double H question word plus the verb to be plus a pronoun plus a complement. So the one that we have here is like double H question word. We have it here, right? Like where? Who's the verb to be. We have it over here. Verb to be. <laughs> we we have a pronoun. Yeah, the pronoun is over here. Okay. You. So you. Where are you from? And the complement, right? So this is the way to create questions. So we're gonna try to solve an exercise about this topic. We're gonna practice. And I think we are gonna see some conversations and the direction is about completing the conversations with the double H question words by selecting the, the correct um, option. And we have, for example, this. Can you read it? Look. Yes, look. Look who, he, who he is. Oh, he's a new student. Oh, he's a new student. What's missing here? Who is who is he? Who is he? Ah, is it's over here, right? Who's who's that? that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Of who's that? 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 Who's I think his name is I think his what name is, is Pierre. What is the what question? Is what, is what his name? What his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's Can you read this? Pierre. What's his name? Where, 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 where is he from? 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 I'm from Turkey. From Istanbul. Istanbul. Turkey. 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 Yeah. What's the question that's missing here? Where, where are you from? from? Where, where are you from? from? Where is she from? Where is she? From. No, but from. no, it cannot be she no, because the person says I'm. But I. Where, where are, are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Can you read the answer here, please? Where are they from? Istanbul is very old. Where are and they from? Istanbul is very old and beautiful. What is Istanbul, Istanbul like? like? Uh -huh. What's Istanbul like? What's Istanbul like? Istanbul like? Ah, yes, right. What is your name? Name? Uh, what is your last name? My last name is... What is your last name? What is your last name? What is your last name? What's your last name? What's your last name? How are you? 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 How cool children. She's really friendly. Yeah, what's the question here? What is she like? 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 How old are you? 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 How old are
How are she? How are she? How old? How old is she? Is she? So let's check. Is she? Good. Reach out. You did it. Very good. Now, now we're going to see another information. The information is going to be about learning what? What are we going to study? Adjectives. An adjective. An Describe oh, no. personality oh, and appearance of people. And pe oh, people. Yeah, oh, so, uh, exactly. So we're going to start by seeing this info and get it, getting familiarized with some adjectives in the period. Pay attention. He's fine. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you hmm. learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. She's Okay, so Where's this adjective? Tall. 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 Now, tell me, what is this, people? Tall. 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 Is this the verb to be? Yes, yes or no? Yes. 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 Take a look. <laughs> yeah, take a look. After the verb to be, we have... Where is this? Handsome. Adjective, right? Adjective. Where to be? Adjective. Adjective. Where to be? Adjective. Okay. Where to be? Adjective. So, as you can see, we're going to have, oh, this is a way to describe people. By using the structure, we're to be in present and 
including an adjective, just um, after the verb to be. Okay, so, and as you can see, it happens in all of the examples that are in the video. Right? Now, another thing that you need to notice about this information is that we have two um, or different categories of adjectives. Now, this is personality or appearance? Appearance. It's about appearance. appearance. What about appearance. this one? Personality. personality. Appearance. It's about appearance. appearance. This one? Appearance. 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 No, this one? Appearance. 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 This one? Appearance. Appearance. Personality. Person Personality, this one? No, appearance. appearance. It's about appearance, appearance. right? Now. Appearance. Yeah. Now, what about this one? For example, if I, if I say this one, quiet. Personality. 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 Good. Personal. Personal. So as you can Personal. notice, as you can notice, we can describe people in both ways. Regarding to personality, and also we can talk about a person uh, and about his or her personality. And now uh, you have like the meaning in Spanish here. But you I, I was just telling some other participants that's important for you too have every single time you you get into the class do me the favor to open either a translator or a dictionary okay cuando entren a la sesión siempre mantengan una una pestaña o dos pestañas para que ustedes mismos vayan buscando los significados y vayan escuchando pronunciación, ¿ok? Eso es importante. Eh, acabo de tener una, una clase y algunos participantes estaban como eh, interactuando en el chat eh, y, y escribiendo los significados de ciertas palabras que estamos observando en la clase. Like, for example... We need to define, first, we need to define what's an adjective, right? Or what an adjective is. We also need to know, I need to learn its definition and to know about uh, their types. And we also are going to study about some examples. We're going to see some examples. Okay, so what's an adjective? An adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives can be used to describe the qualities of someone or something independently or in comparison to something else. We have some example. What is the what is the, the adjective here? Is that? Ah, okay. Old. Very good. Antiguo. Yeah. Old. Pronunciation Old. in English. Old. Yeah. Old. 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 Tall. 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 Occurring before the noun or predicative. Occurring after the noun. Predicative adjectives typically follow a linking verb such as the verb to be that connects the subject of the sentence to the adjective. Now, how come people? In the video, let me see. Okay, in the video, 
we also. saw information so, such as the soldier is proud. ¿Te recuerdan lo que acabamos de ver en el video? Que decíamos que después del verbo to be, ¿qué vamos a tener? Un adjetivo. Un adjetivo. Pero si ustedes, si ustedes observan acá, el verbo to be está después del adjetivo. Miren. Está al revés. Pero, ¿por qué? Porque podemos poner el adjetivo antes del nombre. The proud soldier is some. ¿Ok? The soldier is proud. El adjetivo está después del verbo be. ¿Ok? Pero acá el adjetivo está antes del nombre. The soldier is proud. Now you, you see it over here, right? That dedicated employee starts early. Dedicated employee. The employee is, but to be, and later we have the adjective. Okay, we're going to stop over here. Lo I have a question, a... teacher. Tell me. Uh, what is the difference? What is the difference in subject versus nouns? Subject? Nose? Subject, hi, I, you, are. Ah, yeah. So you uh, see. Porque en el video anterior, uh, la regla, bueno, cuando el verbo to be, la regla, uh, ahí se describe el, el subject o el pronombre. Pero cuando no hay un, un soy o el pronombre y solo hay un nose, que me imagino que es, es como la sustitución, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso que estábamos viendo el ejemplo del, sol, del soldado, soldier, no sé si es soldado, soldado ese, ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí. Eh, ahí so. no está, uh, es, es beautiful antes del nose, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿O cómo so, es? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Listen carefully. En el primero tenemos un o el soldado orgulloso está en casa. El soldado está orgulloso. ¿Ok? So, el mensaje prácticamente es el mismo. Solo lo que cambia es que acá tenemos el adjetivo antes del nombre. Y acá, el nombre está acá. Luego tenemos el verbo to be. Y al final tenemos el adjetivo. En other words, vamos a ponerlo así. Let me see. He is happy. Él está feliz. So, if I say, he is a happy person. So, what's the difference here? Si yo digo, él es feliz. Él es una persona feliz. feliz. Prácticamente es el mismo mensaje. Ok, solo que acá ocupamos un nombre común y antes de ese nombre el adjetivo. Pero acá utilizamos el verbo to be y después del verbo to be tenemos el adjetivo. En este modifica, el adjetivo modifica el nombre y en este nos da información acerca del pronombre. All right. Now. Right. Yes.
Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna have some some exercises because because time is running and we need to go over some some exercises, some activities that I have looked for you to put into practice, but you have studied so far. No, but Mandela is a link. Yeah, a link. I will. I will. I will. I will. Well, I will. I, oops. I will share it with you later. Don't worry. Okay. So it's in the chat there in the chat now. So you have access to the information I'm sharing with you. Well, take a look at the following exercise. You're gonna tell me that thing. No, there's not this one. This is the one. So what is the sentence here? Not only the answer, but I want you to create the sentence. She is rich. rich. She is rich. Or she is a rich woman. Next one. What? She is a good person. Okay. Difficult. Is it difficult? Let me say. Two plus one. Two plus one. Two plus two. Four. 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 Is, is, is it easy or difficult? Easy. It is 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 fast. 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 They are uh, young. She is happy. Young. This one? She is happy. 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 This one? Big. 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 It is hot. 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 It is clean. 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 It is It is clean. 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 It is uh -huh. they are clean they are, uh, they are right they are clean they are clean hand it's, it's it expensive. is expensive. expensive it is expensive it is expensive it is it is fat she is fat she is fat she is fat, she is fat. She is fat. They are so. They are, they are soft. soft. They are soft. Yeah, it cannot be it because we have one, two, three, four, five pillows, right? They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. She is beautiful. 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 They are long. They are long. They are long. They have long necks. They are long. Exactly. And the last one. 
They are empty. No, but they are no, full, no. right? They are full. They are full. Yeah, they are full, right? They are full. They are full. They are full. Full. Yeah. They are full. Okay, well, so not, let me see. Full. I think I have another one. Well, you complete this one and also this one, right? So you, 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 you will practice by using the links, okay? But I want you to start working in an activity that you will present tomorrow. I'll explain to you what's coming tomorrow. So, el día de mañana, tenemos eh, la actividad del examen de medio curso, el midterm. Eh, lo deben de completar para que tengamos un repaso el día de mañana. Lo otro es que vamos a tener presentaciones. ¿Presentaciones de qué, teacher? Bueno, hemos estado estudiando el verbo be, eh, los adjetivos, las preguntas. Entonces, ustedes van a describir a una persona que ustedes conocen muy bien de manera física, pero también nos van a hablar acerca de la personalidad de esa persona. ¿Cómo es esa persona? En apariencia y cómo es su personalidad. ¿Qué hace? ¿A qué se dedica? Etcétera. ¿Ok? Uh, además de eso, cuando ustedes presenten, los demás compañeros van a poder tener la oportunidad de preguntar acerca de esa persona. Si, por ejemplo, usted vio la información de, de la edad, entonces ahí le pueden preguntar, ¿Cómo es esta persona? ¿Cuántos años tiene la persona? O si no dijeron, por ejemplo, el color del cabello, ustedes pueden preguntar, o los ojos, cómo son, si son grandes, pequeños, la nariz, la boca, uh, cómo se comportan, si tienen, eh, son um, personas amistosas, o son serios. Bueno, ustedes sabrán a quién van a elegir y cómo lo van o la van a presentar. Ok, so vamos a dedicar 10 minutos para que ustedes empiecen con la actividad, con la presentación de mañana. Cuando pasen esos 10 minutos voy a elegir, no, vamos a dedicar 7. Vamos a elegir, voy a elegir dos o tres personas que nos digan cómo va el avance de la presentación del día de mañana, ok. Yo okay. tengo una pregunta. Okay. Tell me, tell me, Sara. Este, sí, entonces solo vamos a incluir la apariencia, los años, que son los adjetivos. Nos yeah. vamos a basar más en los adjetivos. Ya, yeah. exactly, en ambas vías, apariencia okay. y personalidad. Y nosotros escogemos la persona que queramos, teacher. Ya, yeah, Leslie. Eso. Okay, seven minutes. Teacher, tell me. Hey, Chrissy. Eso lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Ah, Karen, ya. Yeah. Mm, lo van a comenzar ahora, Karen. Y lo van a presentar mañana. Al inicio de la clase. Antes de entrar al midterm. Chrissy. Okay. ¿Cuál es el diccionario que usted nos... Mm, que utilicemos? Pues... Yo estoy utilizando el... No sé si está bien. El Cambridge Dictionary. Eh, para Cambridge. oír los ajá, para oír las pronunciaciones porque sí es, son muy bonitas pero de la traducción es como más complicado uh, fíjense que algunas personas yo les yo les explicaba algunos gestos miren ya le espérame, le voy a compartir algo les explicaba algunos ok bueno, les explicaba algunos de la importancia de tener siempre abierto en todas las clases, aunque ya no estén conmigo. Um, si ustedes, por ejemplo, tienen un traductor, está bien. Si ustedes tienen un dictionary, cualquiera que sea, está bien. Pero si es English, English, 
¿Qué quiere decir English English? Que buscan la palabra y les va a dar el significado en inglés. English English Dictionary. O pueden buscar, o pueden tener también un English Spanish Dictionary. Si tienen, imagínense, tienen tres herramientas abiertas. Ok, y este, y decimos, por ejemplo, uh, the word, imaginemos, encontramos la palabra skinny, que la vimos ahora, ¿no? Y la buscamos inglés, inglés, y a lo mejor nos saca que el significado es thin. Entonces, gano esta palabra. Y adquiero esta también. Ahora, si yo no sé qué es skinny y tampoco sé qué es thin, entonces uso el English Spanish o uso el traductor. Pero lo importante de tener estas pestañas abiertas es que adquiero. Bueno, si ustedes siguen mi, mi sugerencia de abrir las tres opciones, van a ganar no solo una palabra, sino que a lo mejor dos, tres o cuatro palabras nuevas. ¿Ok? Y de esa manera van a ir, van a ir ganando vocabulario. Esa es mi sugerencia. ¿Ok? Ok. No. Ajá, Chrissy. La, la sugerencia que hacía Chrissy o la pregunta era, teacher, ¿y pues está bien el Cambridge? Sí, está bien. Y si tiene, por ejemplo, la opción de la que puedan escuchar la pronunciación, mejor. Ok, solo fíjense que sea American pronunciation, US pronunciation. Porque en British, algunas veces las palabras tienen una pronunciación un poquito diferente. Mm -hmm. Ok, so you have, well, you actually you have five minutes. Les quedan cinco minutos. Ya voy a elegir después dos o tres personas que nos compartan el inicio de lo que nos van a presentar mañana.
Oh, okay. So we're gonna listen to some of some of you. Let's listen to Jennifer Flores. Eh, no sé si me escuchan. Ya. Yeah. Eh, no lo tengo muy bien, pero <ríe> voy a intentarlo. Ok. Eh, I describe my little daughter. And his name, eh, her name is Emily Elisa. And she is uh, five months right now. And she is a very short. <laughs> and uh, she is a very um, pretty. <laughs> and her eye is round are round and he her her ay cabello se me ha olvidado como se dice um, her hair hair is round too and this is <laughs> And that's it. So you will you will continue working on it for tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna listen the whole uh, description of your daughter. Good. Now okay. let's listen to Lionel. Leonel Enrique, are you there? Mm. Well, let's try with uh, Jorge Ulises. El que estoy. Okay, Jorge, activate your microphone, please. El que subí está bien. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, Jorge, uh, I think you need to activate your microphone. Sara has dark hair and green eyes. She is also very tall and slim. Sometimes she is a little scolier, but in general very keen to others. Okay. Well, well, that is those are only examples about what's coming tomorrow, right? So I know that tomorrow you will you will present um a very detailed uh presentation on uh physical appearance and personality of a person that you really know or that you know pretty well. Okay, so esa es la tarea para el día de mañana. Además de eso. Eh, pueden completar el examen porque vamos a tener un repaso. Ok, so, is there any question? Yo tengo preguntas. Sara. Sí, este, primero con la tarea para cómo podríamos escribir para no estar poniendo, por ejemplo, estamos describiendo a una persona, no poner Her está cada rato, her, 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 porque estamos describiéndola, como decir, él es, sus ojos son café, por ejemplo, entonces, her eyes are brown, entonces, para ya no poner her, ah, ¿qué podría say, poner? Depende, si se, dice, si se dice my daughter, puede ser my daughter, her eyes, 
o, si, o puede ser el nombre de ella. Si ella se llama Sara, ok. Sara has brown eyes. Teacher, okay. una consulta. Ok. Tell me. Sí. Teacher. Ajá, Maritza. Sí, yo quiero describir, supongamos, eh, a, a mi compañera. Ella es, tendría que poner, she is, ella se llama, she is, nay. No, her name is, her name no. is, ajá, her name her. is, her. Nay, mm, ok, y para poner la edad. She is. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces el, como uh, para irla describiendo así totalmente quiere, según la tarea, to totalmente eh, eh, blanca, alta, morena, uh -huh. algo así, así uh -huh. tiene que ser, todo. Sí. Oh. pero también tiene que hablarnos de cómo es ella, es, cómo es su ¿Cómo personalidad. Es su personalidad. Uh -huh. Ok, 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 gracias Ticha. Ok. Una pregunta más, perdón. Tell me, tell me, eh, yo, he, yo he estado llenando los, haciendo las tareas, pero ¿cómo voy a saber si, si, han, si la, eh, las he hecho bien? Porque el examen, no sé, yo ya me pasé quizás más de lo que era la tarea, pero no, no me he fijado bien si, como esto lo hago, a veces al mediodía en la hora de mi receso, en el trabajo, porque ahí es donde puedo avanzar. Pero como a veces lo estoy haciendo un poquito ligero, no me he fijado si ya comencé a hacer el examen. ¿Cómo puedo averiguar? No se preocupe, Maritza, porque mañana justamente vamos a hacer un repaso del midterm. Y ahí usted va a ir visualizando todas las opciones que son las correctas, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Now, I think we're going to stop by here. Este, yo no terminé mis preguntas. Ajá, Sara. Eh, estamos viendo, porque yo copio las cosas en el cuaderno, entonces yo busqué los significados este, de los adjetivos. Entonces, copié que hay tipos de adjetivos. Entonces, estamos viendo ahorita solo los calificativos. Uh -huh. Después vamos a ver, o los van a enseñar los demostrativos y los cuantitativos también, o solo los descriptivos. Sí, recuérdense que el, el curso es progresivo. Entonces ahorita nada más, eh, estamos en básico, vamos a dedicarnos a lo que no, directamente a lo que nos compete, digamos, personalidad y apariencia. ¿Ok? Ya luego nos podemos ir a colores, eh, a otro tipo de, por lo menos, los comparativos. Ahora parece que hubo alguien que nos dio un par de ejemplos de los adjetivos comparativos. Entonces, ya eso es, son un temas que ustedes van a ir viendo en los diferentes cursos, ¿ok? Pero mm -hmm. si no se preocupe, si no lo vemos, digamos, en el básico 1, porque ya luego van, se van a venir complementando los temas, ¿ok? Okay, Sara. Okay. Sí. Okay. No more questions. No. So if we don't have more questions, we're gonna see tomorrow, people. Okay. So good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Goodbye. Night. Thank you.